Hello everyone, if you have a Windows PC and you deleted a file or a folder and you don't have a backup of it and it is not in the recycle bin, there is still a chance you can recover it with a native Microsoft utility called Windows File Recovery. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate this utility for you. I'm going to show you how to install it and I'm going to show you how to use it. This utility is from Microsoft, as I said, and you'll find it in Microsoft Store and it works on Windows 10 and also it works on Windows 11. So let me start. I'm going to switch to screen recording to show you first how to install it and then how to use it. So the first thing to do is to open the Microsoft Store. So let's click here and then key in Store and let's open the Microsoft Store. And in the Microsoft Store, you need to search for Windows File Recovery and choose it from the list here and then choose install this will install it on your PC and here it is installed so now you have the option to run it from here or to run it also from the start or from the search menu so let me show you how to run it in case you want to run it afterwards so here it is in the search box type in Windows File Recovery and you're gonna find it here so let's open it when it opens, because it runs always in administrator mode, it will ask you to confirm. Just click on yes. So when Windows File Recovery opens, it will show you some examples on how to use it. And you see here, let me talk about two options here that you have with Windows File Recovery. The first one is regular and the second one is extensive. You use the regular option when you just deleted like the file not long ago and you use the extensive mode on non-NTFS volumes and also for NTF volumes that might be corrupted or if you deleted the files long time ago, the extensive option will go and search all the drives for these files and you have a better chance of recovering these files. So in most cases, the regular option is sufficient. I'm going to show you now the test folders that I'm going to be working on. So let me open File Explorer. So here I have a drive called G. So this is the test folder. I'm going to delete files here and I'm going to try to recover them. And I'm going to recover them to a drive called F. So let me open it also. So this way you're going to see when I recover the files, how they will be created automatically in the drive F. Before starting the simulation, I'm going to inform you about two rules that you must follow if you want to increase your chances of successfully recovering the deleted files. The first rule is whenever you delete a file on a drive, try not to write anything anymore on the drive. And the second rule is when you want to recover a file or a folder, never recover it to the same drive that you deleted it from. And this is because Windows, when it deletes a file, it doesn't delete it on the drive it just delete the pointer to the file and the data remains on the drive. So if you perform any write operation on the drive, you might corrupt the data. So that being said, let's start the simulation. Here I have a folder called my work and I have a couple of files in this folder. So let me first open one of these files. So this is an Excel file. I just put a line in it, test recovery. I'm going to close it and I'm going to simulate here that I deleted this file. So I'm going to press shift delete on my keyboard. This will permanently delete the file as you see. So now the file is deleted. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch a command in Windows file recovery to restore the file to the F drive that is here. And you're going to see the recovery folder. It will be automatically created. So switch to the Windows recovery here terminal and key in this command. WinFR, the first thing to do is to put the source drive. So here in my case, it is G and you put a column after it and then you put the destination drive and I'm going to recover the files into drive F and then you put the switch as I explained it before. I'm going to start with regular. Always try with regular. And if you don't succeed with regular, try extensive. So here it's regular. And because I am recovering only the file and not a folder, I need to specify the path to the file. So slash n space and then you put the folder and here the folder it's called my work. So I'm going to put my work and backslash after it. And then you can put here the file name or you can put a wildcard so that you don't like retrieve files that are deleted long time ago. So here I'm going to put star dot 
and I know that it was an Excel file, so XLSX and hit enter. And here it will ask you, you want to continue? Press yes on your keyboard. And then here it is asking you, you want to view the recovered files. And you notice that it automatically created here the recovery folder. So I'm going to press on yes here. And you see it opens the same folder. So this is the recovery folder here. So let me close it. And let's open it here. It created automatically a recovery folder with a date and timestamp. If you open it, you see that it created also the My Work Here folder. If you go in it, you'll see that it recovered the Excel file that we deleted from here. So if you open it, you see that the file was successfully recovered. And simply drag it here and it will be copied here. So this is how you retrieve a deleted file that is not in the recycle bin and it is not backed up. So let me show you now if you want to recover the whole folder. If by mistake you deleted a complete folder, this is how you do it. So let me delete all this folder here. So shift delete once again. It is permanently deleted. Yes. And let's go back here to the Windows file recovery terminal. Let me clear the screen. And here to recover the folder, this is the command you need to perform. So WinFR, always the source drive. So G column and then the destination drive F column and then slash regular and then slash N to specify the folder you want to recover and here put the name of the folder so it was my work this is the folder that I deleted and then backslash by the way before I press enter if you don't put anything after regular the command will go and fetch all the deleted files and folders from the drive and it will recover them. So this is also useful in case you don't remember the name of the folder or the file that you want to retrieve. So here simply press enter and press Y. And here it's asking me because it was recovering files and folders that I deleted before. So it found like a duplicate. So it's asking me if I want to override them or if I want to skip them. So here I'm going to keep both. So I'm going to press K on my keyboard. And it's asking me also if you want to view the recovered files. So I'm going to press on yes. And notice here that I created a second folder. And this is a second folder it just created. So it is here also. You can open it here. And let's see my work. It recovered the files here. So because I chose to recover the Excel sheet from an older version, it created a new file. It appended it underscore one. So here, let's open the Excel file. And the Excel file is recovered. And here you can simply drag my work back to the drive where you want it. And it is recovered. I hope that this video was useful to you. In case it was, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it, and this will help my channel greatly. And this way, you'll not miss any future videos I make. I'm Eloy, and I want to thank you all for watching. Until next time.